This video is sponsored by Cool Stuff Inc. If you're looking for cards in the US, look no further as you can use the promo code MTGMUDSTA to get you 5% off anything on the site. You can also use the promo code MTGMUDSTA for 5% off your orders from Face to Face Games, Canada's largest Magic the Gathering store, with qualified orders getting free shipping Canada wide. And if you just want to help out the channel, you can always consider becoming a patron for as little as a dollar a month and join the generic Goblin Gang. Hey gang and welcome back. Once more we find ourselves in my studio space with Felix, Maxim, and Marie joining us. Felix has brought his Henzi Toolbox Tory deck, Maxim is playing a Rumi of the Dead Tide, Marie is playing her Zancha Sleeper Agent, and I've newly sleeved up a Fenax God of Deception mill deck. Felix wins the die roll and starts us off. He plays a tap Temple of Malady, scrying one. Maxim draws, plays a fabled passage, and cracks it to find a basic before passing. I just play a tap Lonely Sandbar. Marie plays a mountain, and casts a Thran Turbine, passing turn. Felix has another tap land with a Path of Ancestry, and passes. Maxim draws, and plays a Prismatic Vista, losing one as he cracks it to find another basic. I just play a Vault of Whispers. Marie has a Swamp for turn, and casts an Arcane Signet. Felix draws, and plays a Game Trail, revealing a Forest. He then has enough for Henzi, casting his Commander, and passing. Maxim draws, and plays a Crystal Vein, and then casts Champion of Wits drawing two, and then discarding Atris and a Trinket Mage. After that, he passes. I play a Swamp, and pass. Marie plays a Swamp as well for her turn, and casts Zancha, generously gifting her to me. She then passes after that. Felix has a Mountain for turn, and then blitzes out at Sushi. Going to combat, he swings at Maxim to deal four, and then moves to his end step, sacrificing the Dragon to the Blitz ability, drawing a card, and as it dies, picks the mode to make three treasures. Maxim draws, he casts Talisman of Dominance, and then a Rumi, passing turn. During his end step, I activate Zancha, losing two life to draw a card. I draw, and play Sunken Ruins. I then cast a Clever Impersonator as a copy of a Rumi, and go to combat. I swing Zancha at Felix, dealing 5, and passing. Marie uses a Thran Turbine Man on her upkeep to pay towards Zancha's ability, pinging me for 2 to draw a card. She then draws for turn, and shocks in a Blood Crypt, and then casts Mox Opal, and then a Thran Dynamo. With nothing else, she passes. Felix draws, and plays a Swamp in his main phase. He blitzes out a Savage Vent Maw, and goes to combat swinging it at Marie, and making 6 mana. He then deals 4 to her, and uses some of the mana in his second main phase for an Eternal Witness, and then casts a Rishkar's Expertise, using the rest of his treasures. He draws 4, and then casts Garuk's Uprising for free, drawing a card as it enters. He then moves to his end step, and sacrifices the Vent Maw to Blitz, drawing a card, and then has to discard down to hand size. Maxim plays a Verdant Catacombs. He then activates a Rumi and targets Atris, making us all play a weird game of fact or fiction. He then moves to combat, and swings the only remaining token at Atris at Marie, dealing 3. In his second main phase, he plays a Baleful Strix, and passes. During his end step, Marie activates Zancha to draw a card, and I lose 2. I draw, and play a Blasted Landscape. I follow up with a Demonic Tutor, and go and find Bruvac, casting him. Moving to combat, I have to swing Zancha, and it goes at max for 5, who chumps with the Champion of Wits. After that, I pass turn. Marie pays into Zancha with the help of the Thran Turbine on her upkeep, and then draws for turn. She plays a Swamp, and casts a Lotus Petal into a Gilded Lotus. Marie then activates Zancha again, and casts a Braid of Fire, passing turn. Felix draws, and plays a Smoldering Marsh. He then blitzes at Sushi again, and draws off Garuk Uprising as it comes in. Going to combat, he swings the Dragon at Marie, and deals 4. 
In his second main phase, he casts a Mimic Vat. He then moves to his end step, sacrificing Atsushi to Blitz, drawing a card, and making three Treasures of the Dragon dies. He also exiles it under Mimic Vat and passes to Maxim. Maxim has a command tower for turn, and in his main phase, activates a Rumi, targeting Junji and making three copies, but can only keep one due to the legendary rule. Max chooses to reanimate Grave Titan and Spellseeker with the other tokens dying, losing four life. And with the Spellseeker trigger, goes to find a mission briefing. Going to combat, he swings the Junji token at Felix, dealing five. He then moves to his end step and sacrifices this Junji, reanimating Tribute Mage, and this lets him go in tutor for an Altar of Dementia, and he passes turn. I draw, and play Jawar Ruins as my land for turn. I then cast Fenax and tap Zanja to Mill Marie for 10 cards, thanks to Ruvak. Marie's upkeep has her activating Zanja again, and then she draws her turn. She plays a Cabal Coffers, and then a Thematic Compass, and activates it, going to find a mountain. Marie then activates Zanja once more, and then casts a Jeska's Will, making 7 red mana. This lets her activate Zanja three more times, drawing three cards and dealing six to me. Once she's finished drawing, she casts Oubliette and targets Arumi. Felix draws and activates Mimic Vat in his main phase to make a copy of Atsushi and draw a card off of Gurok's Uprising. He then goes to combat and swings at Max for four, who trades against it with the Baleful Strix. Felix makes three treasure tokens from Atsushi dying and then blitzes out a Mitotic Slime. He then sacrifices a slime to Life's Legacy to draw four cards and makes two 2-2 two, two ooze tokens. He then blitzes out Whisper as well, sacrificing her and a slime token to bring back the Mitotic Slime. Felix then wraps things up with a Swamp for turn and passes. Maxim draws and plays a Blade of Selves. He then equips it onto the Grave Titan and goes to combat, having the original go at me and a token copy from the Myriad trigger going at Felix and Marie. He gets to make two zombies from the Grave Titan attacking, plus four more from the two Grave Titan tokens entering, and Marie and I opt to take six, while Felix chumps with a slime token. After assembling a zombie army, Maxim then passes turn. I draw and place her Conrad. I then mill Felix for 14 with Fenax, dealing five to the table as he hits five creatures. I then tap more creatures to mill Max for 10 and deal another 4. After dealing a pretty decent chunk of damage, I pass. On Marie's upkeep, she uses the Thran Turbine mana to use Zanch's ability and then draws her turn. She then plays and cracks a Prismatic Vista, finding a Swamp, and activates Zancha again. Marie then follows up with Mogus, God of Slaughter, and uses Bedevil in the Blade of Selves. She then passes, and on her end step, I go for broke by milling Felix for 14, but only dealing 4 to the table. Felix sacrifices the Mitotic Slime to Mogus and draws her turn, with Sir Conrad pinging the table for 1. He then activates Mimic Vat to make a token copy of Atsushi, drawing a card off Gruff's Uprising. He then casts Terminate and takes out Sir Conrad. Moving to combat, Felix swings at Tsushi and the four slimes at me, and then casts demonic gifts onto that sushi to give it the buff for lethal. Marie responds by activating Zancha once more before I die and draws a card. Felix then passes, and during his end step, Maxim casts Vampiric Tutor. Maxim sacrifices a zombie token to the Mogus trigger and draws. He casts a Grey Merchant, and once it enters, gains 8 life while draining 8 life from each opponent. Moving to combat, he swings a lethal attack at Marie with Grave Titan and two zombie tokens, but Felix saves the day with a Miscurian Haze. After that, Maxim plays an Altar of Dementia and passes turn. Marie draws and plays a Command Tower. She then recasts Zancha, generously gifting her to Maxim this time. Marie then activates Zancha and holds priority to activate her again, and Maxim responds by sacrificing her to the altar to mill Marie for 5. She then draws her cards and passes turn. 
Felix sacrifices an ooze on his upkeep, and then blitzes out Ryusei and swings it at Maxim for 5. After combat, Felix plays and sacrifices a Sakura tribe elder. And then during his end step, has to sacrifice Ryusei, dealing 5 to all non flying creatures and drawing a card. Maxim takes 2 off of Mogus and draws. He then plays Command the Dreadhorde, bringing back Dothy Voidwalker and Grey Merchant of Ashfidel, and losing 7. With the Grey Merchant trigger on the stack, Murray responds by casting Backlash on the Grave Titan to try and save herself, but Max has an outlet by sacrificing it to the Altar of Dementia and mills Fiddix for 6. Those cards are exiled by the Dothy Voidwalker, and sadly Murray then dies, while Felix is drained for 4 and Max gains 8. With nothing else, Maxim passes turn. Felix draws and recasts Henzi, and then blitzes a Grime Gorger. Moving to combat, he swings the Gorger and two slimes at Maxim, and the Gorger exiles six card types to give it six plus one plus one counters. This gives Felix just enough power for lethal, and since the Dothy Voidwalker can't block because of Shadow, he manages to close the game out for a sweet win. Game review time! So I wasn't expecting too much with the price tag of Bruvac, but it really seems to make the deck go as soon as it's on the field. Being able to double the amount of cards that I mill people for really speeds it up. Plus there's always cards like Sir Conrad to fall back on, which allows me to not really care about the number of cards that I mill, but rather the types of cards. We jokingly called Marie Zancha deck the tribal mana rock deck, which kind of ended up being what it was. Although she did do a lot of damage drawing cards, she missed out on a couple key pieces, but did have some pretty spicy answers. I was really sad to see that Backlash not be able to take Maxim out, but even if it had, I'm pretty sure she was dead to Felix. Felix's Hansi deck is fantastic, and I love the Blitz mechanic. That Atsushi did a lot of work this game, netting him something like 9-12 to treasure tokens, and that Grime Gorger was clutch just when he needed it. Maxim's Arumi deck is still probably one of his strongest decks, at least from what I've seen, and I really hope we get to see the Encore mechanic again in the future. It has a decent amount of cost associated with it, so it doesn't feel overpowered, but you do get to play a lot of crazy ETB creatures, which is always a lot of fun. This video wouldn't be possible without the help from my sponsors, Cool Stuff Inc., Multizone, Original Magic Art, and Alter Sleeves. But it definitely wouldn't be possible without the help from you, the viewers, and my patrons. So I just want to say thank you for watching, and to remember, friends are just opponents you haven't eliminated yet.